Hey guys, how's it going? So the Inktober is approaching and everyone is hyped for it. Cause come on, it's super fun. There are so many great Inktober drawings on the internet and they easily put me to shame. But it's fine, it's part of the learning process. Don't get demotivated by looking at crazy ink drawings. Take it as a source of inspiration. Channel that energy to create something powerful and beautiful and magnificent. Just kidding, it doesn't have to be like that. At the end of the month, not all of your drawings will look super cool and it's fine. Even if you manage to create one artwork where you push your artistic boundary and you really enjoy drawing it, then it's all good. The purpose have been served, my friend. It's really important that you draw daily. It doesn't matter how good these drawings are, because you'll eventually improve. Your 31st drawing will be better than your first drawing. Trust me on that one. Today I'm gonna show you some ways you can approach Inktober to get the most out of it and to use it to grow and improve as an artist. There is an official prompt list for Inktober posted every year to help artists with one word brief that they can follow to create ink drawings. Now you can follow the official prompt list or you can create your own. Let's have a look at this year's list. I think it has a lot of potential for fantasy based drawings cause you know it includes words like dragon, legend, ancient, ghost, ring, etc. Personally I love to create fantasy based illustrations. Don't worry if you are into sci-fi or cute cartoony illustrations because the words in the list can be interpreted in any way you want. For example, a dragon doesn't really have to be a dragon. Maybe it can be a huge, rusty, battle-ready mech with dragon as its name. The ring doesn't have to be a magic ring, but it can be a wedding ring, a boxing ring, a bell ring, or a circus ring. So it all comes down to your own interpretation and what you like to draw. But hey, if you don't like the official list, you can always do what you like to do. Maybe you can draw a portrait in ink every day. If you like comics, maybe draw 31 comic book characters. If you are interested in drawing sci-fi stuff, maybe you can create your own imaginary film or video game and design characters for it. Or if you want to improve at something you suck at, for example if you really find it difficult to draw hands, maybe draw hands every day for 31 days and you will see the improvement. There is so much you can do. So you want your drawings to look better? A few things to keep in mind while working on an Inktober brief. The first thing is choosing a medium that you feel comfortable with. For me, I like to use a drawing pen and a brush and black ink for blocking larger areas of the drawings. Sometimes I use white ink to add highlights at the end. Yep, I learned that from Jim Lee, but I'm nowhere near the skill level that he possesses. What are you comfortable with? Maybe a ballpoint pen? Markers? Brush pen? You decide. You don't know what you're comfortable with? Don't worry, just try everything beforehand and maybe you'll find the answer. The second thing is planning. Before you put your first ink blob on the paper, hold on a minute. Think and decide what exactly you're gonna draw and how you're gonna compose it within your drawing area. A good composition really attracts the eye, there is no denying that. It can be really easy to just get right into the drawing and build it along the way but it requires so much skill and practice. At the end of the day it can turn out to be a masterpiece or a chaotic mess. If you don't want to take that risk and don't want it to be a mess, plan your drawings before you start. The third thing that I would like to include is using reference. Now, some people might think, why would I use reference when I can create something using my own imagination? Wait, you got it all wrong. By drawing from reference, I don't mean drawing an already existing image as it is. I'll show you the right way to use a reference. First of all, you gotta use multiple reference images for one drawing. Let's say you like an image with a really interesting pose and another image with a really interesting lighting and another one with a cool costume on the character. You can use all the good bits from each reference image and merge them into one drawing which won't look copied at all but an interesting, anatomically correct, visually appealing drawing with attention to detail. Using reference is great, it really helps you add to your visual vocabulary and brings out little juicy details in your drawing. Now it's totally fine to sometimes not use reference and rely entirely on your visual vocabulary that you have built throughout the years. But with a learning perspective and to improve at your craft, you need to copy stuff for the purpose of learning. There is no shame in that. The last thing that I would like to mention is breaking down ink drawings into different shapes of light and dark. When you're using ink for shading your drawings, it's better to see bigger shapes within your artwork. It really helps you get a grasp of your shadows. 
For example, here, just using basic shapes, I managed to create what appears to be a face. There are shapes for the shadows beneath the eyes and the nose, one for the hair, one below the chin and one below the neck. So if you try and study these shapes, you can really improve your ink drawings and even create beautiful artwork without even using a single line. Alright, so let's end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a thing or two. If you did, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment. It would really mean a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I have a Discord server now where we can share each other's artwork, share our ideas and inspiration and learn together to be better artists. Don't exactly know how it works, but I'll learn along the way. So please feel free to join it. I'll put a link in the description below. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.